border wars. We are killing for gasoline. We're getting close to the magical freakout. Kill the world! Kill the world! Kill the world! My name is Max. My world is fire and blood. some similarities about humanity run amok in survival for the fittest. Uh, but this obviously, as I said, a huge budget. Uh, George Miller really has been given free reign. He said a very nice thing I covered in Morning Movie News yesterday at Comic-Con saying Warner Brothers lets artists make the movies they want to make. Uh, and this looks like an artist's vision. We'll see if it holds together story-wise. Uh, I think this looks like George, George Miller's upped his game like never before and it's almost a little bit hard to believe because you're like where where was this George Miller for so long? Uh, has, has everyone else been holding him back prior to this? Uh, I'm not I'm not familiar with the original Mad Max movie so I can't speak to the comparison uh, but this does look interesting particularly the more I watch the trailer the first time I saw it I was like uh, I'm, I love it as art I don't know how entertaining it's going to be but it, it has a lot of energy I mean the trailer is very well cut I don't know what those supermodels are doing in the desert by the way and one of them is Rosie Huntington uh, Whitley isn't that great that she got another gig after Transformers 3 she stuck around she didn't give up she went to every Hollywood party she could uh, and finally George Miller gave her a job um, Charlize Theron also looks very good here. I'm very excited for her in this role. She needed a really strong follow-up to Snow White and the Huntsman, and I'm glad that she's found it. And she and Angelina Jolie are kind of like in a, uh, a cold war here uh, for kick-ass older actresses uh, who, who look great and are, you know, who are bad and look great doing it. So I think that's, uh, I'm very excited to see what she does with this role. And I, but I want to see more of her, her bionic arm. I think that's a really cool development. Now, Tom Hardy. That's him as the hood ornament, I believe. I froze it, I looked at it, I tried to make sure. Uh, I'm like 99% sure he's the one on, on the hood. Uh, and, you know, he's wearing a mask again. And I would say, Tom, you're really good looking, just accept it and stop trying to hide it. Because I think that's holding him back a little bit as an actor. He keeps trying to like, you know, uh, gets put stuff in his own way, obstacles for him to overcome, to be like, I'm not just a pretty boy. And it's like, you know, look at Daniel Day-Lewis, you know, he, you know, it might be a little bit harder to believe now, although I think Daniel Day-Lewis has held up quite well. But, you know, when he started out, he was another actor who was, you know, a pretty boy. But, you know, that never held him back, and everyone felt Daniel Day-Lewis was a genius actor from day one. So I think Tom Hardy should, you know, not be so so so, so uh, self-involved with his looks and just focus on his acting, because he's a brilliant actor. 
the cinematography here looks amazing. The stunts, I'm seeing a lot of people say they like that they're like, uh, this doesn't look like a super special effects heavy movie, that the stunts are being really done there, uh, out in the deserts, I believe, of Australia. Uh, and it does, I think, lend itself to the material. I'm also excited to see Nicholas Holt here. They don't play him up too much in this trailer, but he's also a very talented actor. Um, very talented. And, you know, I I'm very excited about this movie. I think George Miller has done a very nice job putting this together. We'll see how it does, though. Uh, I think an apocalyptic, brutal world where they tattoo, like, recipes on someone's back, make them a hood ornament, um, I think it's a tough sell, especially in a competitive summer market. I mean, the, the summers, it was, as we know, are very competitive. So this movie is going to have to be more than just great stunts and special effects. It's going to have to have, uh, the next trailer is going to have to sell it on story to make people make this a, a number one choice. But we'll see. I'm curious, what do you guys think? Do you think the Mad Max brand still has uh, loyalty? Or do you think it has to win people over all, uh, over all over again? What do you think of Tom Hardy here? Uh, what do you think of his continued uh, insistence on covering up his face? What do you think of Charlize Theron? What do you think of supermodels in the desert? How do you like the way this is coming together? And what do you think of The Purge? Now that The Purge is on the map and there are going to be a lot of people who are more familiar with The Purge than Mad Max, uh, do you see kind of like some crossover there? Maybe um, a little bit of sharing the same audience. I'm just curious. Uh, share your thoughts down below. Uh, is, this is weird. It's like you don't really quite know what to make of this. And I guess uh, that's good art. You know, that's something I think Lucy had some similar qualities. So we'll see. Uh, this is this is a long way away. So we're going to get a lot more uh, a lot more trailers and, and for, uh, looks at it and coverage before the actual film. So write your thoughts down below. Thank you for tuning into my review. Uh, and there are two more big ones coming up today. Uh, the Hobbit, obviously, and Mockingjay. All right.